Remember when we talked about differentiating one element from another? Well, the periodic table does just that for us. It was created in 1869 by Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev. The periodic table is very useful in describing the atoms of every known element. Each box in the periodic table represents an element. Inside of each box on the periodic table, you'll see a few things. Let's start with what jumps out at us first. The one letter, two letter, and in rare cases, three letter symbol is used as the shorthand to represent an element's name. And it's right there in the middle of the box. Right below that is usually the element name, which is tied to the symbol. Above the letter symbol, and in this case, in the top right of the box, is the atomic number, which is the number of protons in an atom of that element. The number of protons defines an element's identity. When dealing with a neutral atom, the proton count is also an indication of the electron count. Now there's also a number underneath the letter symbols. This number refers to the mass of the atoms in that element, expressed as the atomic mass unit. This represents the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in atoms of a particular element. Again, the numbers that you see expressed as a decimal, typically below the element's symbol and below the element's name, is the atomic mass unit. This represents the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in an atom of a particular element. Now let's dive into one of those boxes. Right there in the middle, we see the symbol HE. HE, and we know that HE represents helium. And well, we know that because it says so right below the letters HE. We also see the atomic number two, letting us know that helium has two protons. And again, we also see the atomic mass which is 4.003 for helium. And again, the atomic mass tells us the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in atoms of a particular element. Now you may have noticed that I didn't mention anything regarding the electron's weight. Well, an electron has very little mass when it is compared to a proton. In fact, it would take 1,836 electrons to equal the weight of one proton. And neutrons are slightly heavier than protons. So electrons are considered light, protons are considered heavy, and neutrons are considered the heaviest when it comes to characteristics like weight and mass. Let's test what you know so far. The atom oxygen contains eight protons. We know this given the atomic number. So can you tell me how many electrons does it contain? If you said eight, you're correct. Remember, in a neutral atom, the proton count represents the electron count as well. Thinking of the three primary subatomic particles, can you name them in order of heaviness? If you guessed electrons as the lightest, protons as being heavy, and neutrons as the heaviest, then you're correct. Thinking of the three primary subatomic particles again, what kind of a charge does each particle have? If you stated that electrons have a negative charge, protons have a positive charge, and neutrons are neutral in charge, then you would be correct. Be sure to click on part three of this video. I have the link below in the description box. In that video, I'll be delving even deeper into the specifics of the periodic table.